Hey Libra, this is Alex. I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are doing well when taking care of yourselves. If this reading does resonate, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, feel free to comment also. All right. Three of Cups, mind, body, and spirit. A reason for celebration and to be joyful. And <clears throat> I dare to say everything is going well. No, too many. Um, kind of feels like on th three different areas of your life, things could be going well. And you're happy with that. You have a reason to celebrate. Woohoo! Queen of Cups. Yes. This is a love reading, so perhaps everything is going great in love. Um, with that Three of Cups, of course, I have to mention a third party. <clears throat> oh, no. Angels are saying no. This is uh, people coming after you. Uh, love interest in you, Libra. Which is awesome. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, you may be thinking about long-term and long-term endeavors. Right? Trying to figure out what your next power move is going to be. Okay. Scorpio decided to stay in the deck, but instead Aries came out. <clears throat> Do you need to make a decision? And uh, Hi uh, excuse me, Herman is at the bottom, which is Virgo. So Libra, Libra's always in a position to make a decision. Y'all always got a decision to make. That's who y'all are. Y'all are the scales, right? You're always weighing and balancing everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Six of Swords, you're moving away from stuff. The hangman, Hangman been coming out all day. All right, all right. There you go. Five of Pente Pentacles. Five of Wands. And the Two of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups is at the bottom. <clears throat> so Libra you have you have a reason to celebrate because you're coming out of and coming away from a dark time where you felt taken advantage of or you felt like people got the best of you okay um, I do kind of feel like for a lot of you there are glimmers of hope and emotion that are starting to resurface so it's almost like you can now feel the love maybe that somebody else has for you. Um, not because they're starting to show love again, but because you're start you're allowing yourself to feel that love again. <clears throat> kind of feel like this person, this situation was imbalanced. You have 10 and 5 of Pentacles. So it's almost like you might have been seeing them as the 10 of Pentacles, but felt like they were treating you as the 5 of Pentacles. Right, you might have seen them as in long term security, long, you know, somebody I want to be with long term. You know, kind of like your long term goal was to be with this particular person, but you might have felt like a short term goal to them, right? Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you just you have just gone through some sort of spiritual awakening or spiritual. Uh, ascension because it's almost like with the five of wands and then the seven of pentacles it's almost like there was this internal battle inside of you so you could see within yourself that you ain't nobody's five of pentacles right and now say for instance that you see and understand that you ain't nobody's five of pentacles you're now in the seven of pentacles position where now you love what you have you love who you are you love what god gave you Right, and you're gonna take that and you're actually going to <clears throat> angels are saying make it work for you, right? And it's crazy that I said spiritual awakening, guys. Don't ask me how the hell I came up with that. I guess it was just something that came to me intuitively because it was almost like the double fives to me is like, yo, I'm fighting with myself because I feel shitty about myself. That's what I'm getting just from those two cards. Right. And it's like with the pentacles on top of that feeling, it's almost like you feel lesser, you feel lower than the, the you know, top pentacles. And these top pentacles is long term. Do you, you know, you saw them as long term, but you didn't feel long term yourself or that's not how they made you feel. Right. 
not only that, but they all planning and living their life and doing this out of the other. But all the while, you're sitting in what? Arguing with them to try to notice you or try to be with you or to try to, you know, just see you. Nah, we not doing that. We not doing that. Right? And then also with the emperor here, the emperor has everything to do with power and authority. I feel like to an extent, you know, this was something inside of you. Angels are saying double dose, right? With the two of pentacles. It was almost like you got a double dose of universal energy that said, Heffa, if you don't get yourself up off that floor and, and dust yourself off and realize who I made you to be, I don't know what then, right? Um, what I'm also getting as well is you could have got that message from the universe and your person, by the way, who... Who you was feeling lesser about. I don't think it was necessarily them. It could have been them making you feel lesser. Or it could have been you feeling that way about yourself. And then projecting it on them. Right? But because you have the two of pentacles here. We were talking about pentacles higher and lower. The two of pentacles then says to me. Okay. You got a double dose from God. Angels universe. You got a double dose from your person. To say look. Okay. You got options. You got choices. Balance this shit out. You feeling like crap. Look, you need a surge, you need something, you need the universe to get you a new car, you need a raise at work, what do you need, right? Because we want to show you that you're valuable, okay? Now, by the way, all of this is happening on a psychological level. Emotionally, I kind of feel like you're still kind of disconnected, kind of, you know, maybe to yourself with the hermit and then also the four cups, the hermit being Virgo, Right, you're kind of off to yourself, maybe planning, plotting, growing, getting stronger, getting inspiration, becoming enlightened. Right, also, while well, at the same time, maybe you're giving your heart time to heal, you're giving it a break. Right, um, you know, maybe waiting for inspiration, waiting for that m emotional gesture. Okay, um, they're also saying to me, too, with the six of swords, six of swords, and then also the three of cups. That's, that's, you know, kind of like you guys saying enough is enough, right? Also, what I'm hearing as well is while you were in the five of swords and now you're moving over to the six of swords, yeah, you could have had love interests. You could have had like three people who was like, hey, boo. But you couldn't see them because you were too busy on your way out and on your way, you know, from, you know, the mayhem, right? So... <clears throat> you just want somebody to see you for the wonderful loving person that you are is what I just got. It's it's a shame that you have to kind of go back and forth to prove yourself to people or to show people who you really are. Not only that, but what I'm also getting to for some of you, this person, the Ten of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles, they might have chosen somebody over you, Right? This was me saying to you earlier, oh, you know, you treat them like the dime, but they treat you like the nickel, right? But, you know, you could have had a situation where they treat, they chose somebody over you and left you out in the cold, like, I, I see you, I'll holla, you know what I mean? But with the seven of pentacles and then the five of wands, maybe you struggle for a while, right? Maybe you struggle to try to get them to see your worth. And through that struggle, you discovered your worth on your own. You know what I mean? And now say, for instance, that you discovered your worth, the universe is amplifying that, showing you exactly how much you're worth, honey sugar, right? And now again, you know, with that loving support from the universe, you're starting to actually balance out, get your mojo back, trying to figure out, okay, what am I going to do next? What am I doing? You know, where are we going from here? And all again, that may be happening on a psychological and spiritual level, but emotionally, yeah, there's still some work to do. What I'm also hearing as well is emotionally, that'll come after the psychological. Because what a lot of people don't realize is that human emotions are just a byproduct of our thoughts, right? So whatever, whatever it is that we think, so shall we feel, right? So for a lot of you guys, it's almost like, yeah, getting your head right, getting your money game right, getting your self-confidence back, getting your um, self-worth, self your self-esteem, building all of that stuff back, going and, you know, taking some time to meditate, let it bake, let it mature, let it do whatever, whatever. And then once you're done, you kind of come out the gate, right? I pulled that off. Nice. 
you come out the gate because this is planning also right you come out the gate yeah that's not a nine of wands right which basically says yes hey i'm down i'm still working i'm still baking i'm getting ready to get this 10th one and then i'm gonna put all these bitches down and then i'm gonna move on and what do you move on to the nine of pentacles where you actually receive and, and you get to the point of prestige and happiness now prestige and happiness emotionally and i think that's up to you in all honesty libra okay so thank you so much i hope this resonates and if it does you guys please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already i love you guys take care bye